We've reached session 18. Time to find the North Pole. Right now our model is a little bit boring, but it will become a bit more informative if we can add a point that represents the North Pole. Here's how you can do that. In order to find where to put the North Pole, let's take a look at a three-dimensional version. Here's the Earth. The green is the ecliptic plane. So if I turn it so that the top of the Earth is right over top of the center of the Earth, this is what our circle looks like, and the top of the Earth is at our center. So our question is, where can we put the North Pole so that we can see it on our circle? Well, it's not going to be on the ecliptic plane, but when we tip it and look at it, we, we can designate it by putting it right here as long as it is this distance from the top of the Earth. So your challenge, and I'll just make the sphere of the Earth go away for a minute. Show object turn off. So we really want to look at this triangle, and I think you know from previous sessions what this angle is. You know the radius of the Earth that we're using is 3, so your challenge is to calculate the length of this red line. So remember, we're using this model of the Earth so that the North Pole is not actually at the top of the Earth. It's a little bit offset here, and we would like to know how far from the center of our circle, which is resting on the ecliptic plane, the, how far from the center of our circle will the North Pole be? Should be fairly straightforward. And we'll see you next time and add the North Pole.